Oh, straight into it. I know, right? No see. holds barred. No. We are co-directors of the New School Musical. Mm -hmm. Along with Artie. Ooh. Artie, There's Kevin McHale. Co-directors. Yes. And the three of us sit up there and... <laughs> Make fun of each other. Yes, pretty much all day. Yeah. So, really and that's cool. how your characters mainly interact? It's just making fun of each other? Oh, no, no that's that's characters. just for us. Oh, that's personally. not on camera. Yeah. <laughs> we have gotten really silly this year, mm -hmm. I feel like. I mean, we're just laughing the entire That's how time, we did it so. all the time. But Kevin said, he goes, I've never laughed this much ever. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, Poor kid. So it's the laughing I know. season. Poor kid. They're too serious. No, we're having a really nice time, even though I do try and be professional during my scenes. And some, some certain co-directors aren't as professional as others. Emma and Beastie. I love that you call me I call Beastie. 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 Oh. Uh, I. We're, we're good together, yeah, right? Yeah, we are good. We're really, we're really into producing the best play that we could yes. possibly produce at we that take, school. We take it very seriously. Very seriously. We want to make sure we're casting it right, being mm -hmm. fair. Yeah. I adore your character, by the way, Miss Mean I'm Pants. Yours too. I know. How could anyone not adore your character? <laughs> yeah, it's but so after cute. five minutes working with it, you're like, Ugh. see what I mean? See what I mean? No, no yeah. yeah. But then you remember that you adore it, and then you're back good. You have no I sense of humor at all, do you? <laughs> None. <laughs> I know. Love you, Dot. I know, Puddin. So, um, what I admire about my character is the um, God. I like the the strength and the vulnerability together. It's like a fine-tuned mess, in a sense. I love my character so much, and I, I love too. the fact that she's CD. kind of hopelessly flawed. Um, even though she's she's you know working on that and she's trying to get better with the OCD and you know being scared of germs, um, I admire that about her. I love the fact that she, um, despite how hopeless that situation can feel at, at sometimes, I think she's she's constantly trying to work towards getting better, especially because she knows that that could potentially help her relationship with Will um, and, and just make her a better person all the way around. Matt and, Matt and I's character, I love, love, love the friendship that we've developed. And I, I just love it. He's like my buddy now. Yeah, and I, I think with Wemma, I think we're head kind of trying to hint towards a relationship rekindling. Um, I don't know. But I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. You mm. never know with these writers. I never know what to expect. I feel like once I think, oh, yeah, I've got this pegged. I know what's going to happen with Will and Emma. It, it had, she gets married to the dentist, so I, I never know. They call it Wilma? Wilma. Wilma. Uh -huh. Do you know what an, I made up for me and Will? No. Will a beast. <laughs> <laughs> that is perfect. Will a beast. Uh -huh. Love. One, one of my favorite scenes is your scene. Oh. That wonderful moment when you're in the mirror and you're Where putting I'm, on your makeup and that, where you said you're most vulnerable, I yes. believe. It's just the most beautiful that, scene. Mm -hmm. um, for my own character, I think maybe the first time I got to sing was a real important moment for me because I was so nervous and that's so not me. I'm not like a Broadway singer like yeah. all these other wonderful people on the show. Um, so that'll be a moment for me that I'll always remember is having mm -hmm. to do that in front of everyone and being so terrified but kind that's, of secretly loving it at the same time. Me too. When yeah. Will and I sang, you know, one bourbon. Yes. I never in my life thought I'd be singing on television, you know, not being there enough. <laughs> <laughs> they said, what's the worst part of working on Glee? And I said, the days that I'm off. Aww. I love, I love being there. And I love watching, like some days when the kids are recording certain, you know, sh parts of the show where they're singing, I'll go just to watch them, even though I'm not working that day. Mm -hmm. And I love it. I'm I not me. I'm the least supportive person. Yeah, in pretty the much. <laughs> I only really care about myself. So, do you have any challenges? <laughs> um, Ooh, you got a minute? <laughs> <laughs> Mentally or? Uh, oh. Uh, challenges? Um, I don't know. I just I'm okay. the same. I love being there, but I feel like we're re I feel like we have such a fortunate schedule. Um, having a few days off to maybe work on what's coming up, work on scenes mm -hmm. and things, is really um, a luxury. I feel like on this show in particular, yeah. um, where you know the, the kids, kids have such crazy schedules. Yes, those kids yeah. are there every day. I feel pretty lucky. Yeah. I always like. People have asked me recently, like, what song I would want to do or what group or whatever, yeah. and like my two favorite. Ever. Well, my all-time favorite is Heart, Anna Nancy Wilson. And <laughs> but I could never do 
either of their voices justice, but I would love to give it a hell of a go. Or Pink. I want to see mm. it. Fistful of Glitter. I'd love to do that song. Ooh. I yes. would love to see you do that. And I want to fall from the sky in those ribbons, too. Nice. Like yes. she did at the awards. I and like I just want to be one of those ribbons. Yeah. <laughs> That's so sassy. <laughs> I'm kind of blushing. <laughs> Ourselves? Mm -hmm. I think for me, it's the, the crying. I cry talking about crying. Don't cry. Oh, gosh. Here she goes. Except when I'm around <laughs> you. <laughs> and I'm just mad all day. <laughs> I love her more yes. than my left so, kidney. But we'll cry, yeah. prove it, cry, prove it. Not I'm enough love. I've got not enough yeah. love. It's coming. Okay. <laughs> to follow your dreams, like every season, you know, it's like find that niche that fits you and, and yeah. go with it. For me. Yeah, and I think I think something else good. Um, <clears throat> I think something else that's good from the show. If, you, if you're into the arts, if you're into music, if you're into theater. Um, take a note from the kids in the show. They work hard at it, you know, mm -hmm. trying to get to a program, get into a class. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I love I love that about our show. I think it sends a good message. Work hard for what you want. 